Hello, and welcome back to our Curious Place, Black Mesa. Now, we got through the questionable ethics chapter last time. And we're continuing on to... I'm going to say one of the toughest uh, sections of the game. Yep, and that's why... Go, oh, my lovelies! Do God's work. But not over here. Not over here! And those are snarks. They will walk around and attempt to attack anything. I mean anything. Aliens, Marines, me. As you can see, they're quite effective. You just don't get very many of them uh, throughout the game. Okay. So this is a tough part of the game. Oh, because there are only two non-boss enemies that we haven't really fought yet. One of them we should encounter here-ish. Dealing with so many hit scanners. I'm really, really bad at, you know, dodging hit scanning enemies. Oh. All that ammo is going to be needed. This is the only time that uh, ammo for the Tau Cannon is going to be plentiful. Yep! I hate my life. And this is why they gave me all this ammo. I think he's gone. We took a beating. Man, 
Thank you for your health packs, good sir. We're gonna use this to pick off these marines. There also should be a gun emplacement up there. If they followed the original game's uh They followed the original game's design, which appears like they did the crap, 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 crap. And I think there's a shark in here with me. Yep. Oh my god, there's two. Why are there two? Don't fire this underwater, that's a bad idea. Okay. Hate those things. Alright, so the helicopter is kind of like a boss enemy, but it isn't. Emergency drain. Save. Because I think I gotta go down there. So, there's a bunch of hit scanning enemies. Uh, we're gonna have that helicopter harassing us for a long time. Yep. That's kind of the way we need to go, but kind of the way we don't want to go. here so I don't think you can do it in the single-player mode but back in Half-Life 1 when you charged up and fired the Tau cannon it pushed you so what you would do is you would jump aim at the ground real quick and it would launch you like across the map and I remember playing a lot of uh, multiplayer modes in the original Half-Life where that was essentially the rocket jump of the original Half-Life multiplayer.
I hear them out there. Those freaking hound eyes. these things so much. That's an electrified fence, so you don't want to touch that. Oh, yes. Grenades. Grenades, grenades, grenades. This can be our anti-marine weapon for a while. God, I don't want to be standing right here. What is wrong with you? He looks like he was stuck in some sort of animation state. Okay, nothing in the truck. I'm surprised we haven't been harassed by the, uh, helicopter yet. Blasted me once. I blasted you once. Storm drain hatch. That's where I'm trying to get to. In the original game, yep, there's a fucking minefield. Oh, I can actually see the mines! Okay, so that's cool. In the original game, you couldn't see the mines, so you couldn't do anything about the mines. Go away. Oh, they're coming up out of the freaking sand. This is where they annoy you to death with head crabs. This is also where the like tan orange of the crosshair doesn't really work.
Almost there. There's a mine up here next to all those supplies. That was going to be so salty. What a novel method of mine clearing this is. That's a mine. Alright, so that's done. Let's get my anti-marine weapon out. Running low on ammo for it, but then again, you can never carry too much ammo for it to begin with. Oh, the cliffside. Fuck that turret. Alright, I'm all out of marine, anti marine ammo. Can I? Nope. God, this is awesome, though. Okay, so, save game. Wait a minute, I think I can use the use key to climb ropes. I think that's a Half-Life 2 thing. Okay, so he's being... Mother... Fucker. <laughs> I, I'll, I'm thinking that's a rope, but like, oh, I grabbed it, and it's a barnacle. Should have seen it coming. God, it caused me to miss. Take unnecessary damage. Take your time, Gordon.
Oh no, come on. Okay. I accidentally uh plugged my unplugged my keyboard there. Oh. Got me some more of this. Let's let's recoup. still be some left. Those are rockets. I mean, I know what's coming. Motherfuck. like me. Where is the rocket launcher? I'm supposed to receive a rocket launcher. A launcher of the rockets. laser guidance on. That's that's the main feature here. Excuse me, my cat is getting into stuff she need not get into. Okay. Right. I am now forced to be reckoned with for I have a laser guided rocket. I think those are F4 Phantoms. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta fight the jet all over again. What was my last save? Okay, not too bad.
Is this? It is. I think there's like a turret in there that's shooting rockets and shit. I think I've bugged the AI. I've bugged the AI. Stop it. Stop moving erratically and making yourself our target. Oh, that's a tank. Well. That was trivial. One guy got to shoot at me. One. I took one point of armor damage. Okay, okay. So maybe there were a few I missed. Rockets I used. Definitely gets me back the rockets I used. That's health. I kind of know where I'm supposed to go, but I'm just looking around. Like, grenades would be sweet. Now I can expect marines, vehicles. Oh, that goes behind me, so I can't get more rockets. I hate you. I hate everything. Okay, rockets. Rockets get. Sniper rifle. I mean, I can kind of admit, you know, playing through this chapter, this chapter's a little bit of a slog just due to how many enemies there are, and. Because Half -Life 2, the Half-Life 2 engine, the Source engine, generally seems to make everybody a little bit more beefy. I mean, I'm playing on easy. And it makes everybody a bit more beefy, so... Where it ends up is that a lot of the combat is really just trading blows with the enemy until you win or they win. 
And that doesn't really make for a very satisfying combat experience, even if you are spending a lot of that time, like, you know, trying to get those headshots and that sort of thing, because it all matters. And I'm playing on easy and not a higher difficulty level simply because that I'm just not good at pulling off those headshots. But anyways, we are above 30 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. This is the Nighthammer, signing off.